T0442, small EVAP leak. What I'm going to do now is see if the system is able to pull a vacuum by using my scan tool and bi-directional control. I'm going to I'm going to close the vent and open up the purge valve to pull a vacuum. I like to monitor the fuel type pressure sensor and inches of water all voltage. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take the cap off and pull a vacuum, then I'll put the cap back on and pull the same vacuum and see, and see if there's any difference. That's the gas cap I'm talking about. And once I get this laptop straightened out, <laughs> look at the lower right hand corner. It's going to start off at 0% and as the percentage increases, that's me using the scan tool to open up the purge valve. I had the vent valve closed. I'm going to see if it goes into a vacuum. Stick with the purge, 50%, 30%, My engines of water is not moving because I got the gas cap off. Now I'm putting the gas cap back on to do the same thing and see if there's a difference. I'm trying to determine do I have a large leak? Well, I know it's a small leak, but I just want to see how far it can purge. And this stupid thing keeps popping off. I'm a 40% duty cycle on the purge valve. Now look at the voltage change now. Or the inches of water, I should say. See, it's going to a vacuum. So it's able to purge. So that confirms it's not a big leak because I'm able to purge. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm able to pull a vacuum while operating the purge valve, I should say.
Go back to a. Uh, uh, what we start Oh, OBD, OBD controls. OBD control, F4. Go to output, which is that one, output. Right now, I'm showing the student how to uh, operate the scan tool to pull the system to a vacuum. Oh, sorry, no, I'm not. We're trying to find a vent valve and purge valve. I'm going to turn it off and on and listen for a clicking. This is my way to determine which are, where the purge valve is at by turning it off and on and listening for a click. The vent zone is usually in the back. I call that the back door. The purge valve is usually the front door. And the gas cap is the side door. I'm just trying to confirm which part is which and locate the part before we test the system for a leak. I need to make sure that machine works before we try to find a leak and there's no smoke coming out of it. We're kind of connecting it to the adapter. Just in case you ever seen that green cap, that green cap's a test port of left hand threads. If you ever going to take out the thread, it's left hand. Sorry about that. See, the vent valve is closed. The purge valve is going to be open. I'm sorry, no, no. We closed the vent valve and the purge valve and look for smoke. So we got the purge valve closed, we got the vent valve closed, we put smoke in the system, and we found our leak. It was somewhere under that right corner there, under the computer. You see that smoke pouring at it? You know that so you found the first leak. Sometimes you find one leak, then there's another one after that. You gotta take care of this one first. All it was a defective line. It just deteriorated and came off. Condition 
confirm the fix. Did you hear about Mr. Davis? You need him? You shouldn't need me, right? You did three times already, right? Yeah. You good, Freddy? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Look at the okay. ball. Yeah. Now we're going to confirm after the repair. We're going to check the machine again. It's a lot lower. It's eventually going to drop back down. Now, anytime that ball approaches that arrow, this is an arrow that you didn't see, approaches that arrow, it means you have a leak. Even if it doesn't go past the arrow. If it approaches that arrow on that machine when you set it, it's a leak somewhere. It should set it toward the bottom. Yeah, there's no more leads, so the pressure keeps it off. Alright, put that together now. 